I am a firm believer that Tremaine Edmonds will be the first $100 million linebacker. There's not been a $100 million linebacker yet. I am a firm believer that it will be Tremaine Edmonds. And I'm not saying that because I think he's earned it. I'm not saying that because I think uh, he deserves it. I am saying it because he's going to be 23 years old when that contract expires. And there is <laughs> no way on God's green earth that that is not an investment in your future for this team. Because you won't be able to replicate what he can do for you elsewhere. I just, I don't, I don't believe it. Can I, can I shore up your, uh, your argument really quick? Because yeah. I know there's a lot of people that come in the comment section. Right now. Yeah. I, I'm tired of them doing that. It's all right. Quit picking on him. It's all right. The first hundred million dollar inside linebacker or middle linebacker. Right. Because TJ Watt. Well, yeah. I'll say TJ Watt. But, but I'm just saying, just so to save you guys a comment. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Always haven't, so loyal. Haven't white knighted for you in a while. Yeah, so. he's always so loyal. So, what do you? What does that make you think when you hear hundred million dollar linebacker? Can I ask you something, Paul? Yeah, I, I'll answer your question. But just before we get to that, is he a hundred million dollar linebacker if he's 28 when his rookie deal expires? I don't believe that. You don't. No, well, that's that's the thing, right? When you saw C.J. Mosley's so contract huge. go, yeah. you were like, what the hell are well, they doing? The, the, that was absurd. Was. You look at Fred Warner's contract, you go, oh, okay, like, all right, age, you're looking at the salary kept going up, you know, exponentially over the next few years. It's not – that. it's – you look at Tremaine, he's so young. You signed Tremaine to an eight-year deal or to a – you know, uh, I mean, the truth of the matter is all these linebacker deals, they're all making like 19 mil a year. So reality is you sign your mate to a five-year deal. It's not going to be five years. It's going to be six years at least. They'll get them to almost 30. If they can't get them to 30, they'll get them to 20, right? Yeah. Six-year deal at $20 million, it's $120 million, dude. Like that, his contract could blow away all other inside linebackers just because of his age and the length of the deal they could do. Yeah. Blow them all away. Oh yeah, I will say as far as the case that goes, the case of Fred Warner. You look at a lot of those. They had a lot of first round picks that they invested in the defense. Sure, sure did. But eventually, you have to figure out which one of those guys you're going to pay, and you, you pay the guy for what he's going to do, not what he did. Right. Hundred percent. That's how it works. You know what I mean? So if you looked at that San Francisco defense, you know DeForest Bunker. A couple of those other guys got to leave. You're going to have to bring young guys in. Who's the guy that has to get them all together? Right. That middle linebacker. Sure is. Two or three years, guess who you're not going to have behind you? Hyde and Poyer. And the Bills have not been shy about drafting and no. signing safeties. They've no. been doing it since they got Hyde and Poyer. So, like, they've, been pre they've been preparing for D-Day there for yeah. a long time. So, the, <laughs> the contracts that you have now, you sign Milano as your insurance policy, as the guy because they always like keeping pairs for some reason. Except for Trey White, they haven't paired him with anybody. Nope. <laughs> it's like the drummer from Spinal Tap. <laughs> other, I love it. Every time you make back. that reference, it's true though. You know, like oh, what happened to EJ Gaines? He spontaneously combusted. What? Yes, his like. Since what Trump happened to Vontae Davis? He just quit. Since like, Trey White has been drafted, the quarterback two position looks like the shirt with the Browns quarterback. Oh on. yeah, with like the eighteen quarterbacks <laughs> on there, just like the line drop through all the days. I love it. I mean, you think about it. <laughs> getting back to where you know the, the investment you're going to have to make in Tremaine Edmonds helps <clears> you <throat> in other positions because you got two rookie defensive ends right now. Right, star, you're going to have to pay. So the st star and Tremaine will be your two biggest contracts right now. Yep. What right now on your defensive end or, or defensive side of the ball, you have, I think it's Hughes and Trey White are the highest paid guys. I believe so. Hyde and Poyer are taking up a chunk of that, but they're not going to eventually. Right. So that money you can delegate for Tremaine, but you're gonna bring this defense is gonna get very very young very very soon. Right. 
and you need a guy that can quarterback that defense over there, and that's Tremaine Edmonds. All right, you'll have you'll have Trey back hopefully next year at some point. Right. But, but there's there's been no uh, like this team has given no indication that they don't have a billion percent confidence that Tremaine Edmonds isn't the middle linebacker of this team literally since the day he was drafted. Since the day he was drafted, he was the middle linebacker of this team for now and forever in their eyes. They're going to do whatever it takes to retain him in that fashion. And the truth is, you drafted, because think about it, right? Tremaine's, you know, his fifth-year option's coming up. Okay. You draft two rookie defensive ends. Well, that means their contracts aren't going to come into play until Tremaine's in his third year, yes. or second or third year of that new contract. Okay, no payment problems there. Rousseau and Basham or Epineza fall out. You don't have to worry about them coming in to pay them and Edmonds at the same time. Those contracts are in different years, right? You look at Hyde and Poyer, and again, they've been cycling in safeties as long as they as, as long as Bean and McDermott have been around. This is just part of the process. It is. It's part of the process. You're going to have to lose them eventually. You've got guys in there that are always in interchangeable deals, right? Yeah. The restricted free agents, you know, uh, the you know exclusive rights free agents, because when you cut these guys, they go on waivers. So they, they have team control on these guys for a long time, mm-hmm. right? The question is, what do you do with Ed and Tremaine? Because that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the problem right now. Because you got Ed, who's fifth year option. They still have to decide whether they're going to exercise it or not. And I'll be honest with you, the last four games makes it real hard to say, no, Ed, thanks, but no thanks. So you got Ed, you got Tremaine, you got Trey. Those are going to be your three guys. That's the future of your defense. Ed, Tremaine, and Trey. Can you afford to keep all three of them with Josh Allen on the opposite, opposite side of the football? Because Ed is playing so Good, but is that defensive tackle position really like your CB2 position? Look at what they've done. I know what they've done. You know, like, I know what they've done. And they did the draft for need. And Right. You know, they, they recycle that position get younger. I understand that. But you could recycle that position. Sorry, dude. You could recycle that position, free agency, draft in the third, fourth round. They've you know been successful. Yeah. They've been successful five years. Um. God, that's a lot of money. It's a ton. That's a ton. Honestly, like, we, we joked about it quite a bit. That, I'm going to bring it up again. Moving back in the draft, we'll draft to Trey White. Mahomes' deal is like, what, four, $450 million? Some absurd. That's how much it's going gonna, it's gonna to take to keep Trey, Tremaine, and Allen, which yeah. is what they got with that deal. Right. So, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, but that's true. Um, I think you can. I think you can keep those guys. I think you have to keep those guys. I think that it's it's not gonna, they're not going to be team friendly deals, but there are contracts that are going to be leaving very soon. Addison, Hyde, and Boyer, uh, Sanders. But aren't you Diggs? But then aren't you just creating the same environment that they've had in Green Bay, where you're always bargain basement shopping. You're always bargain basement shopping for your offensive talent because you're too busy paying your defensive players. That's what they did in Green Bay forever. I don't know. It doesn't that create some friction at some point when you're, you know, you're always looking for at best the next game Davis. Like, isn't that a problem at some point? Like, oh, well, you're man. paying digs. You're right? hoping your sure. quarterback can carry you out of some of those games. That's what you're hoping. I, it's not ideal, Paul. Like, we know that th- there's a clock running right now. Allen's still on his rookie deal, technically, but he has some money tied up. Tremaine's on his rookie deal. This is why you don't have multiple first-round picks in one year. Well, that's hits. why. Remember when the Browns did it? Remember oh, when the Browns God. had all those first-round picks? And, you know, granted, the players that they drafted weren't great, but had they hit on all of them, you weren't keep, you couldn't keep half of it. You, you just couldn't afford it. You were going to try to have a three-year run with those guys. Right. And that was it. That was, that's all you had. If you want sustainable success over a number of years, you're going to have to. Oh, God, 
God, that's so many times. I don't. Can I so do, many contracts. I don't want to think about it. Right? Well, I mean, it's <laughs> it's sorry. You yeah. know, if you look at Tremaine, Tremaine's next man up. Yes. But and, then, and, and Tremaine's Oliver. deal really could be the longest out of all of them because he's so young. Tremaine could sign a ten-year deal, and he'd he'd just be barely into his thirties by the time it's over. Like that's crazy talk. Why don't they? Then? They could. They could. I mean, but you can only put signing bonus across the first five years of a deal, so it'll look a lot like Mahomes' deal, where there's a bunch of roster bonuses and stuff. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying they'll, they'll delegate that. It's that definitely cap. doable. It's well, definitely doable. Well, the cap's not real, right? Oh yeah, figment of our imagination. The salary cap. It's, it's plenty of cap.com. Plenty of cap. Plenty, plenty of, cap. of cap. I don't understand some of that. You know, I don't know who mentions cap news and stuff like that, but there's a reason why certain players get cut. <laughs> Because of the cap. If people that ignore the salary cap are just willfully ignorant of the business of football. Oh, Because yeah. it makes a difference. It makes such a huge difference. It does. Difference. It does. You think it doesn't. Well, don't tell me that the cap isn't real and then tell me about contract years. Don't right. tell me about it. No, right. You know, that's just ridiculous. Right. Uh, we could go on yes. about that. But, I, oh, God, for me, I think you have to, I think his age makes it huge. Yeah, his age really does make it huge. The fact and, that he's signing his second deal at 23, right? And that was one of the alluring pieces of drafting him was the fact that you would have time with him. But he has far exceeded, I think, some expectations with some people. the The Indianapolis game works in his favor so well to getting a new deal. Sure does. But hey, look, at, I wasn't there. Look what happened. And that game was tailor made for AJ Klein. Tailor made. He should have been no pun intended. a monster. Oh, Klein, Calvin Klein, Taylor, me. Taylor, Jonathan Taylor. Oh yeah, I went a different way with that. Like Calvin going, Klein. I thought you were talking about Did you, did you watch Back to the Future yesterday? <laughs> Hi, Calvin. It's good reference. Your here. That's a good reference, I bet. <laughs> so, are I you at, are you saying what I think you're saying? What? That Tremaine Edmonds is not signed, or you, it's it's between Oliver and Edmonds. Um, I think oh god, you can get both of them done. The problem is Oliver's going to want six years, and he ain't going to get it. That's going to be the sticking point. If Ed Oliver is not re-signed, because Ed Oliver could be franchise tagged. Think of it this way, right? You pick up a with your option, you can tag him twice. That may be the route you go, because you'll be able to afford to do it. Ooh, was it what's, what's the tag for a defensive lineman? 14 now? That's what I mean, right? It's yeah. far less than what you're going to be paying Tremaine Edmonds. So the truth is you do Tremaine and then you just string you, – you do what you can to string Oliver uh, and that contract along the way because what else can you do? You're not, you're not going to be able to give him a six-year deal. Like you're just not going to be able to. Mm-hmm. 